Hi, I'm Quinn. I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, to take care of an issue that I had with my drone and maybe I can uh, help somebody else out with, with their Phantom. Um, recently, I had got my uh, DJI Advanced, DJI 3, Phantom 3 Advanced, and I've had it uh, oh, about a year and a half, two years. Got a lot of good flights with it. I uh, took it out and did a, a flight, tried to fly out by Chimney Rock in Nebraska and the wind is too strong and I had a little little bit of a crash with it, nothing big, but it worked fine after that. Well, uh, within a couple months, I started having some issues and I was having some lag between the video um, on the phone and the actual video on the drone. And when I bring it back and check the, download the video, it was fine. It wasn't doing that on the drone. It was just doing it um, with the, the lag for the streaming. So um, I went online, I tried all kinds of different things. All the suggestions that DJI had, I changed a bunch of settings. Um, I updated my phone, I changed phones, I freed up memory, did everything and nothing worked. Um, so what I finally ended up doing was, and it's super simple and it, took, it takes about five minutes, is just um, having to, to clean and uh, check the connections on the bottom of your actual gimbal mount. So it's super simple. I'll show you how to do it real quick. So if you have the same problem, you don't waste as much time as me. I uh, ended up losing about almost a year's worth of uh, flying because I thought I was gonna have to send it back or, or get a different one. So anyway, all you gotta do is you have some pins on the bottom. You'll, there's two that sit across from each other, right here and right here. And what you wanna do is, you want to take that off, it's super easy. You just push this down and you see how it pushes like that. And then when you pop it up, it will, sorry, it's a little hard to do on the camera here. When you push this back through, it will pop it out. Eventually here. Come on. There you go, like that. So, sorry, a little hard to do on the, on the camera. So that, that loosened that one up. And now you can, you don't have to undo the other one because you can get, you can kind of move it over and get to everything you need to get to. You will have to just pull the little, little washers off on the one side like that. So now we've got access to the bottom and you're gonna see that there are three ports. There's, see if you can see those, one here, one here, and also, where's my third one, and one right here. All of them just uh, either squeeze, there's a little clip, you squeeze, pull those out. I'm not gonna pull them out right this minute, but, uh, cause I've already done mine, but all you gotta do is pop those out, kinda uh, blow out the port a little bit. If anybody had an old Nintendo, you know what I'm talking about, the same thing you just have to do. Um, maybe take a little Q-tip, wipe it down, wipe down your connections, plug them back in, and that's it. And then when you go to put it back together, just put your, uh, Little deal back on here. Pop your pin on. You'll have to put your little, little dampeners back in, but that's it. That's all you gotta do. As soon as I did that, I went back out and flew, uh, flew it. No problems at all, now it flies perfect again. I actually did a, a video that day then. So, super simple. Uh, Hopefully uh, this takes care of any issue for you. Again, this um, from the things I'm looking at, uh, it should work on your DJI Phantom 3s, any of them, um, advanced, uh, your basic or your um, whatever the next one up is. But anyway, it should work for all of your stuff from, from everything I'm reading at this point. So hopefully that works for you. Um, give me a like, uh, give me a subscribe if this helped you out. Appreciate it and enjoy flying.